Hi, and welcome to this edition of the HSO Business Apps. As a member of the prestigious Microsoft President's Club, with offices in the U.S., Canada, Europe, and Asia, HSO is your go-to partner for Microsoft Dynamics AX. And in this short video, we will be highlighting the features of the HSO landed cost system. So let's consider the problems faced by today's importers. Getting goods from foreign ports to your warehouse can include many types of costs that can have a material impact to the profitability of an item. Broker fees, insurance, customs, tariffs, and duty charges can all play havoc to your bottom line. When shipping charges represent a large percentage of an item's overall cost, it is essential to have good insight into these costs and to have inventory value reflect these costs instead of expensing them directly to the profit and loss statement. According to a 2010 third-party logistics study, only 45% of the respondents included total landed costs in their item cost calculations. Reasons cited for not including these costs included necessary data not available, insufficient time to compute the landed costs, as well as insufficient tools to track the costs. By adding the HSO landed cost system to Microsoft Dynamics AX, importers will immediately gain the following types of benefits. You'll have the ability to identify all cost elements associated with imported goods. You'll have true landed cost achieved for each product through accurate cost apportionment based on volume, weight, value, percentage, or quantity. You'll have the ability to add landed costs on top of other landed cost charges, which we'll take a look at in just a few moments. You'll be able to keep tabs on your cash flow by estimating the shipment before the goods arrive. You'll be able to perform comparative analysis of actual invoice costs versus estimated costs. And then, of course, you'll be, have the ability to select suppliers based on the true landed cost of an item. Along with the landed cost system, HSO also provides a container management system that works hand in hand with our landed cost system. As shown in this flowchart, the green rectangles represents the processes performed within the container management system. And the blue rectangles are the processing steps within the HSO landed cost system. So let's take a look at the software. The HSO landed cost system is built within Dynamics AX. Following Microsoft's rigid standard for design and development, the landed cost system has a seamless look and feel. To begin with, let's go to the charge code table, which you can also find on the AX procurement and sourcing menu. Here, the different types of landed costs are defined. Notice the allocation type field. Here, you can define charges by weight, volume, value, and percentage. Let's click on this particular landed cost. Notice these markups. Landed costs can be computed based on the value of an item and also the value of other landed costs. So in this example, the duty charge is a sum of the value of the item cost plus freight charges plus handling charges. Next, let's go to the terms of delivery table. Here, we can group all the landed costs that will be charged against an item. Then the terms of delivery code is assigned to the vendor record. The HSO container management system uses transport orders to track your different shipments. Let's select one of these shipments. In this left tree diagram, we can see the actual shipment itself and containers assigned to the shipment. Specific POs and line items are then added to the container. Here you can visualize the complete shipment hierarchy from containers to the PO lines to the items. It is possible to delete and move containers, purchase orders, and purchase order lines around in this tree structure. The link lines are then automatically updated. Once our shipment has been defined, we are now ready to add our estimated landed costs. Within the HSO landed cost system, 
we can assign estimated landed costs to the transport order and or to the container records by using this Manage Charge button. If we have reoccurring shipments, you can also set up templates to automatically add these landed costs each time a new transport order for that route is created. In this demonstration, we've added landed costs to the containers. So here we can see we assign freight, handling charge, and insurance based on multiple allocation types. Also notice each of these landed costs can have different vendors. Once we've defined all our landed costs, we can press the Allocate button to allocate these landed cost charges across all the items on this container. Based on the allocation rules, defined for the charge code assigned to the vendor. By pressing the Landed Cost Breakdown button, you can see the estimated amounts allocated across each item and its landed cost. Also notice as I scroll across, we have multiple estimated and actual columns. This is because the first columns represent the amounts in the PO currency, and the second columns represents the amount in the home currency. When the container is received, the PO costs and estimated landed costs are posted to the items. You can also post these estimated costs to the general ledger prior to receipt by pressing the Post Goods in Transit button. Then, when the PO is invoiced, the posted costs of the packing slip are reversed and the invoiced item costs plus the estimated landed costs are posted to the item. Then, as third-party landed cost invoices are received, their actual costs are posted against the items and those related estimated costs are reversed. From the released product record within Dynamics AX, you'll be able to drill down into all costs, including the landed costs that make up the current inventory value. So thank you for watching this short video on the HSO landed cost system. We'd love to talk to you about your importing issues and how HSO, along with Microsoft Dynamics AX, can help you achieve your goals. You can visit us on the web at hso.com or call us in the United States at 847-348-0588.